your review, you're on. So I think that uh, there were a few things of note in 2012 in the semantic web. Um, one of the things was a big sort of uptake in interest in the financial community and a few sort of pieces of evidence and uh, indications of this. There was a uh, conference on semantics and financial services back in March that had about three times the attendance that the organizers expected. Um, and there's also been over the past few years an increasing um, creation of chief data officer positions and chief data offices within large banks, investment banks, financial services companies that are really looking at how do they leverage data as sort of an asset rather than a liability. And the folks within those offices are turning to semantics as uh, really the only practical way to, to, to do this. So I've seen, I've seen a big uptake there. We've seen continued interest in some of the traditional industries like uh, pharma, um, like oil and gas, industries like that. Um, on the technology side, Sparkle 1.1 is um, finished around the, near the end of 2012. Um, R2RML uh, finished for mapping relational data to uh, semantic data. Um, and the RDF working group has made big strides towards a sort of refreshed version of the core RDF standards. Great, and now if you can look a little bit ahead to 2013 and tell us what your semantic web expectations might be. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I guess looking at the technology side first, there's um, new standards being created around uh, the link data platform, which uh, you've got investment from uh, vendors like IBM and EMC in this uh, to really come up with a, a pretty lightweight uh, standard for how uh, enterprise IT products can start to expose semantic web data uh, in an interoperable way. So you know that should make a lot of progress in 2013. Um, from an adoption point of view, I think we're gonna you know we're gonna continue to see more in pharma. We're gonna continue to see more in finance and some of these normal industries. I think you're gonna get. Um, increasing push in response to all of the regulatory um, changes that have been sort of put into place in the past, things like Dodd-Frank or the, the Healthcare uh, Act in the US, but haven't necessarily taken effect yet. As we get closer to the dates in these regulatory things that where different, uh, different compliance elements come into play, we're gonna see people turning to semantics as a way to meet their obligations in, before the, the deadlines. I think we may see an uptake in healthcare with uh, you know, electronic medical records, using semantics as one way to start to link that information between organizations. Um, but uh, you know, ultimately, the semantic web has always been characterized as sort of this. Uh, you know, it's not it's not the hare, it's the tortoise. It's the slow but, st <laughs> but steady uptake, and um, I think that's. You know, it would be nice maybe if we were a little faster at times, but I think it's very healthy for the industry. I think people are really figuring out the right ways to use these technologies to get real value from them. And so, you know, I think we're going to see a lot more of the same. So that's a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you.